Hello guys, this is me, Dr. JK, and today we will discuss about ameloblastic fibroadenoma. In our previous lectures, we have studied about ameloblastic fibroma, but this one is fibroadenoma. Okay, there will be, you know, you know, tooth-like structures here. Uh, in this one, there were no tooth-like structures. Remember, these are mixed tumors because the epithelium as well as the odontogenic ectomesenchyme is also involved. So. Here we have amyloblastic fibroodontoma. It is defined as a tumor with general features of an amyloblastic fibroma, but that also contains enamel and dentin. Okay, so it will be similar like that that of the amyloblastic fibroma, but it will contain enamel and dentin. Some investigators believe that the amyloblastic fibroodontoma is only a stage in the development of an odontoma and do not consider it to be a separate entity but they are wrong. It is a true neoplasm and it is a separate entity. However, distinguishing between uh, distinguishing between a developing odontoma and amyloblastic fibroodontoma may be difficult based on histopathological ground alone because they look like similar if we talk about histopathological features. Now we'll discuss about clinical features. They are most commonly present in children with an average age of 10 years they seldomly are present in adults, so mostly they are in children, okay? They are mostly present in the posterior regions of the jaws. There is no any sex predilection as far as the amyloblastic fibroodontoma is concerned. They are mostly asymptomatic and is discovered when routine radiographic, you know, examination or radiographs are taken to determine the reason for failure of tooth to erupt. So it means it is also associated with unerupted tooth. Large examples may be associated with a painless swelling of the affected bone. So if you talk about clinical features, symptoms, they are asymptomatic, you know, mostly, and they will be found on a routine urographic examination. And if they are large, they will cause facial asymmetry. Here we can see they are most commonly present in the posterior part of the jaws, okay, and most commonly in the posterior part of the mandible. Okay, if you talk about the radiographic features, they are well circumscribed, unilocular, or rarely multilocular radiolus and defects. So they may be unilocular, that is in most instances, but they can also be multilocular, okay, sometimes. And the fact that contains a variable amount of calcified material with the radio densities of tooth structures. Okay, so this point is very important. There can be, you know, calcified materials. There can be and there cannot be. Okay, so in some instances there may be calcified material, and the radio density of the that calcified material will be similar to that of the tooth structures. As you can see here, this is the ramus of the mandible. This is OPG orthopentomo graph you know, showing the radiolucent area at the ramus area of the mandible. And here you can see uh, these are the, you know, calcified materials and the density, radio density are similar to that of the tooth structures as you can see, same radio density, right? The cal calcified material within the lesions may appear as multiple small radio opacities or has a solid uh, conglomerate masses, okay? So here we can see there are multiple mosses here. Okay, uh, they are mostly, you know, associated with an uninterrupted tooth. And some amyloblastic fibroadenomas contains only a minimal amount of calcifying enamel, as I have mentioned earlier. And dentin matrix and appear radiographically has radiolucent lesions. As you can see here, there's very, very large lesions over here. It is the mandibular body and the angled region, okay? And you can see, uh, you can find very less uh, radiopaque, you know, masses over here. If we talk about this, there were many, but here, mostly it is radiolucent. Okay. This cannot be differentiated from the wide variety of unilocular radiolucencies that may involve the jaws. At the other extreme, some amyloblastic fibroodontomas appear has a large Largely calcified masses with only a narrow rim of radiolucent about the periphery of the lesion. So that will look like the mature fibrosis lesion. Remember, uh, if the fibrosis lesion is mature, then they will be, you know, largely radio opaque lesion with radiolucent rims. 
so they will look like the mature fibrosis lesions okay now we'll discuss about histopathological features uh, if we talk about soft tissue component then it is microscopically identical to the amyloblastic fibroma and remember there were you know narrow cores and small island of odontogenic epithelium in a loose primitive appearing connective tissue that resembles the dental papilla here we can see the epithelium that is core like anastomosing and this is the connective tissue here okay and this is the tooth like uh, calcified material here so it will look like that of the amyloblastic fibroma okay the, there will be narrow cores uh, two to in fact two cell thick the columnar cuboidal cells okay uh, all right now the the calcifying element consists of foci of enamel and dentine matrix formation in close relationship to the epithelial structures okay calcified lesions show mature dental structures in the form of rudimentary small teeth or masses of enamel and dentine here you can see here it will be a mass of calcified tissue will look like dentine and enamel okay now we'll discuss about treatment and prognosis you know conservative curettage will be the treatment of choice for the amyloblastic fibrodontoma and the lesion usually separates easily from its bony bed as compared to that of the amyloblastic fibroma which has you know controversial treatment planning okay the tumor is well circumscribed and does not invade the surrounding bone prognosis is excellent and recurrence after conservative removal is unusual so it is easier to treat uh, you know amyloblastic fibroodontoma as compared to the amyloblastic fibroma so that's it about amyloblastic fibroodontoma hopefully you enjoyed my lecture if you enjoyed my lecture please subscribe to my channel and till my next video take care and bye bye